Hey everyone, Cameron Hopkins here with Superval Ammunition and the Hush Puppy Project. So one of the things we've done is bring back the original Superval. Superval was founded in 1963 by Lee Juris and it's now been resurrected. We're manufacturing high velocity ammunition and low velocity ammunition, which is the subsonic Hush Puppy which Supervel loaded for the Navy SEALs in 1963 for a pistol they fielded that had a unique feature. It was known as the Hush Puppy because the cover story was it was used to take out Viet Cong guard dogs. So when you shoot a semi-automatic pistol, it makes a sound. Of course, you've got the bullet coming out the other end, which is addressed with the subsonic ammunition. You have the sound of the gunshot, which is addressed with a silencer. But there's one other sound the gun makes. That's the slide going. So we have a patented slide lock device that prevents the pistol slide from operating, turning it into a lock breach. So you eliminate the sound of the, the slide, you eliminate noise escaping out of the ejection port, and you force all the sound through the silencer. We have the same system for a Glock, so now the slide works. Not even let me think about it. Put the button down. Now it's locked. So again, this forces all the noise out through the silencer, and the subsonic bullet takes care of the sonic crack. Here we have the Hush Puppy Project Model 2 suppressor disassembled. I want to go over a few of the options on how you could set up the suppressor for use and some key points and considerations when using the suppressor. In front of us we have a Gen 5 Glock 19 with our SLD slide lock device switch installed and the Hush Puppy Model 2 suppressor. This is the configuration that we seem to like the most. It's the most compact and yields the quietest option for us. Now to go over the different parts that you see lying in front, when you receive your silencer it is going to be completely assembled. This is in the disassembled form and we'll go over from left to right. So this is the accessory module housing. Next to it is the accessory module. The accessory module is going to house 12 wipes when you receive it. This module can be shot through and can be utilized in one of the formats that I'm going to talk about. Next you have the primary module housing which is the serialized part and the primary module which is containing six wipes and then we have the end cap. The end cap is simply just helping to combine add all, it all and thread directly to your threaded barrel. Now with the primary module we send this unit with six wipes installed, the external o-rings and you're going to notice you may have a little bit of um, white lithium grease that is simply to help preserve the o-rings and keep the assembly from drying out and it also helps when reassembling into the external housing. The accessory module is what is used to store all the extra wipes. Uh, we see that six wipes is optimal. Anything beyond six wipes, you're not gaining much uh, sound deadening, and it allows us to run a super compact setup. But this is where the module is used to house all the wipes um, in there. Now you could shoot this silencer completely assembled with the module in its housing connected to the primary module system and its housing with the end cap for a, for a longer silencer or you can run it in this format shown here. Simple assembly of this once the wipes have been installed there will be another video showing that um, it is simply just slid in to the housing with the end cap placed on. The housing can go either way snug tightened and then threaded onto the barrel. Now you'll see here below we have some of the wipes that have been shot through. I'm just going to do a brief explanation of the life of the wipes and what you can expect. Initially the wipe is in a solid state format. You are actually firing through the wipe. That is what is deadening and helping deaden the sound. After a series of shots the wipe hole is going to begin to grow over time and a lot of the gases are what is actually blowing and enlarging the hole. Now this silencer is going to go from extremely silent to at some point it will begin to get louder and louder and that is when you'll know that you'll need to replace your wipes. So then you can take the wipes from your accessory module and replace the six in there. Now there's a variety of options of shooting dry or shooting wet. 
and we'll talk about shooting wet at a later time. But for now, this is the setup that we prefer and that we find is the most common and, and like the best and yields the best results. When you are taking your module out, any part of this, we recommend going to your local hardware store and getting a dowel, which fits perfectly inside and it'll help to remove your accessory white module housing or your primary white module by simply pushing it inside and pressing. You can press down on a tabletop or you can press straight by hand and it just assists with getting that taken apart and utilizing the other wipes. But that's the basic overview of the Model 2 suppressor. You're going to be firing through those and it is going to be, if not the quietest, one of the quietest silencers on the market, especially when accompanied with the slide lock, slide lock device, which is eliminating all gases escaping and getting rid of all the slide cycle sound. All right, now we're out at the range. We're gonna do a little bit of a demonstration. First, I'm gonna shoot a Glock 19 Gen 5 that has our SLD switch installed. I'm gonna fire one round unsuppressed. We're gonna use our Hush Puppy 158 grain load specifically designed for this system. And then we'll throw the suppressor on and fire suppressed and with the switch. So first shot unsuppressed. All right, so now we have the Hush Puppy Project Model 2 suppressor installed on the gun. Two shots, first one suppressed with slide cycling. Second shot, I'm gonna engage the SLD switch with no slide cycle so you guys can hear the difference. Here with that, no hearing protection required. Slide is completely locked, no cycling sound at all. And we are retaining the brass. There you go. Hush Puppy Project, go check it out.